Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what I have here. I have a Paul Schmidt 20 pint cube dehumidifier. And today we're going to open up this box and see how this thing works. So again, this is the 20 pint version. I do believe it comes in a 35 pint version. Now, uh, just for your uh, information, uh, this is a little bit heavy. The unit itself without any water in it is about 33, 34 pounds. So uh, you might need some help getting it out if, uh, if you don't think you can lift that much. And here's everything that came in the box. You have the dehumidifier itself, which is actually inside a little bucket, which it kind of sits in. Uh, you have some wheel casters here that looks like you have to install. Uh, you have some documentation here. Um, I guess installation guide, etc. Oh, it actually looks like it comes in a 50 pint version too. You can see how it stacks right here. You have a drain tube if you uh, don't want to use the bucket uh, unit itself. And let's see, just a couple of extra little pieces of documentation here. So let's go ahead and put the wheel casters on. So uh, to do this, you just lift the main unit out. Again, it is kind of heavy. So uh, if you need some help, go ahead and get some help. And then we'll go ahead and flip the bucket around just like that. And to install the wheel caster, you just want to slip in the base plate here into this little slot, this little groove just like that. And then you get a little blocking element here that you can kind of see a little bit of bevel there. And that slips under this little plastic piece right there, just like this. Not that way, but this way. And you just stick it in there and then snap it in place. And you're all set. We'll go ahead and install the other three. And then just go ahead and flip the bucket over. And you're all set there. So the next thing I wanted to show you is how to set this up in the working position and also the storage position. Now if you uh, look at the bucket itself, you'll see a little arrow on one side. This also, on one side of the unit, you'll also see an arrow. Now to put the unit in the bucket for the working position, you basically want to just line up the arrows. Now when you're ready to store the unit, you first want to take out the dehumidifier from the bucket, set it down, and then you'll notice inside uh, one side of the bucket, you'll get these little arrows right here. And to uh, get it ready for uh, storage, you want to depress these two uh, little buttons inward. And as you do this, this upper portion will pop out. And this will allow the bucket to be fit in to the bottom. And you'll notice the other side of the bucket also has this little kind of slot here. And when you look at the dehumidifier, uh, you'll see a slot on this side and a slot on the back side. On this side, it's, it, you don't see a slot. And so you want to fit these slots in to this. Just like that. And that is its storage position. Now again, when you're ready to operate the unit again, you just take out the dehumidifier. And you do not have to depress anything. When you put the uh, dehumidifier in its correct position with the arrows aligned, uh, the dehumidifier will essentially press this top part and will, and will essentially pop out these. And so uh, after you place the dehumidifier in the bucket, these will be ejected automatically. But for now, we'll just leave it like that and we'll put the dehumidifier in its working position. So let's start operating the unit. First, you want to just plug it in, and when you do, a bunch of LED lights will display. So looking at the controls, you see a power button here, a down and up control buttons here, fan speed button, mode button, fill level button, 
and a timer button. And then up on top you get a series of LED display icons here. The first ones are a low speed and high speed fan. You have a dehumidifier uh, icon, you have a continuous dehumidifying icon, and then you have a maximum dehumidifying icon. And then the last four icons here are the fill indicating icons. You can actually set uh, the dehumidifier to fill the bucket at four different levels. You could either fill it up or have three different lower uh, levels. Now this could be helpful if you have difficulties lifting up a fully loaded bucket of water. You could set it to only fill up halfway. Okay, so the basic operation of this unit is you just hit the power button and then you go to the modes and you either select the dehumidifier, the continuous dehumidifier, or the maximum dehumidifier. Now at the regular dehumidifier mode, uh, this light will come on. And at that time, you could set down or up for the relative humidif humidity. And you'll see a display here. It goes from 35 to 85% relative humidity. Now, if you want a continuous dehumidification, you would hit the mode to, for continuous. This little icon, the second one, will appear. And then uh, you could set the fan speed, but essentially the dehumidifier will continue indefinitely irrespective of the relative humidity. And then at the maximum mode, essentially it'll be a continuous maximum dehumidification at the highest fan setting. So at that mode, you can't lower the fan setting, it'll just be the maximum fan speed. Okay, let's turn this on and see how it works. So you hit the power button. And currently the relative humidity in this room is 44% and it, you'll see a display right here. Uh, it's currently at high speed or high fan speed and at continuous dehumidification. So we can reduce the fan speed to low and you can hear the reduction in speed. Go back to high. So it's at high. So just for this video I'll set it at low less background noise and let's go ahead and set it to the humid just the regular dehumidific uh, humidifier not the continuous so we'll hit this twice and it's to dehumidification and here you can actually adjust the relative humidity that you desire right now it's at 44 or 43 percent and so if we want to reduce the humidity We'll go ahead and hit the low button. It starts at 55 there, so we'll reduce it. Let's We can go as far down as 35% and no farther. If we went up higher, uh, above the 43%, like to 85, eventually you'll hear the uh, compressor uh, turn off you might get the fan still running, but the compressor will turn off because it doesn't need to dehumidify the room because the existing humidity is actually below your setting. So if you want it to dry out, you want to drop the humidity below the existing humidity in the room. And then after a moment, it'll revert back to re uh, displaying the existing humidity and hopefully this, this number will decrease as the dehumidifier reduces the humidity in the room. So switching from dehumidifier to continuous dehumidifier, so we'll go ahead and hit that mode there. Here, you can't adjust the relative humidity because it's just going to dehumidify continuously. And so that's the difference between the dehumidifier and the continuous dehumidifier. And then at maximum, if we change the mode to maximum, you'll notice the fan speed will go from low to high automatically. Because here, the humidif uh, it's dehumidifying at its maximum amount and also at the highest fan speed. So that will dry out the room the fastest. Okay, so the dehumidifier is sitting in the bucket and, we, and therefore we can set the fill level of the bucket. Again, it has four modes. You could either fill it 
part of the way or all the way, depending on how you want to empty or fill the bucket. So we go ahead and hit the fill level indicator button. And here it's at the lowest setting. You hit it again and it's on the second highest. And you can go as you can set it all the way up so it will fill the bucket completely. Again, if you can't lift that amount of water weight, uh, I recommend just setting it to a lower level and it'll only partly fill the bucket before the dehumidifier turns off. Okay, so the last button here is the timer button. And so if you want your dehumidifier to only run for a certain amount of time, let's say minutes or hours, you would hit that button to set the, the timer. So you hit that button once and a zero zero indicator comes on. Now if you increase, if you hit the up button, let's hit that again, if you hit the up button, that's a half hour, hour, hour and a half, etc. Now if you go down below the zero zero indicator, that will set the minutes. So 24 minutes and you could actually set it for a certain amount of minutes and then uh, it will run until that timer is, goes to zero. And then uh, to turn off the unit, you could just set it back to zero, zero, hit timer again, and the, and the timer function is off. So when the unit is operating, airflow will actually go in from this side and the opposite side and exit from the top of the unit. Now there's actually two filters for this unit. There's one on this side, you can see the handle there, and then there's another on this side. Now to remove the filter, you just kind of grab it here. It's not the easiest thing to remove, but you just kind of grab it, and then it pops out just like that. And then you can rinse off the uh, filters uh, just under a kitchen sink or hose. And to replace it, you just bring it back in. And then put it in place. So how do you know when you need to clean your filter? Well, that is indicated on your LED display. Now, I will just use the instruction manual to show this since I don't actually need to clean my filter right now and you'll see a little symbol right here, filter clean light, and that will appear right below the first digit right there. And so when you see that little light display, you know you need to clean your filter. And so after you clean your filter, that light will not just automatically disappear. What you need to do is you need to depress, the uh, with the power on, you need to depress the fan button here for three seconds. And after three seconds, that little clean filter indicator light will disappear. So now you can run this unit with the bucket or without the bucket. Now, again, it does come with a drain line. So you could actually, instead of having it drain directly to the bucket, you could just have it continuously drain to let's say a drain in your floor. And to do that, you would first need to just remove the unit from the bucket. So on the back side of your unit, you'll see a little drain line here and you would just pull out this little tube here and you would just insert your hose in this little ho hole. Now you could also use a standard uh, hose with a threaded connector and you can see there's a threaded connector there. So in that case, you would just screw in your hose line and the end of your hose would go to a drain. So with your drain hose properly installed, you want to plug in your unit. And because it's out of the, because your unit's out of the bucket, you, it will initially display an EB symbol. Now within three minutes after this is displayed, you want to hit the fill level and the up button at the same time for three seconds. and it'll turn off. Now the next time you turn it back on, it will start dehumidifying and it'll have another little symbol on the bottom of the display. 
And this little symbol represents that it's in the buckless mode and will drain continuously. Now to end the buckless mode, you just again hit the fill level and the up button. And now it's out of the mode. And again, because it's not in the bucket, it'll turn itself off and display EB. Now you can also use the hose while it's in the bucket itself. And there's a little bit of a plate here that you could remove just with a bit of force. Like that. This lifts off. Save this if you want to uh, use it in, in the bucket mode again in the future. Place the unit in the bucket, like that. And here, the hose can be installed right like this. While it's in the bucket. And with the drain hose properly installed, with the unit in the bucket, you could just operate it normally. And it will drain through the hose. Now when you no longer wish it to drain through the hose, you just re remove the hose. Replace the little stopper and it'll function normally. So when the bucket fills up, the unit will shut down. In some units, it'll run for about 30 seconds before it shuts down, but it'll eventually shut down and power off and you will see a display of P2 here indicating that the bucket is full. At that point, you want to unplug your unit and then remove the dehumidifier from the bucket. And then you could just take the handle, lift up your bucket and dump out the water in a sink or toilet. Now one really cool thing about this unit is it can you be used remotely on a smartphone or app. Now uh, the documentation does uh, provide instructions how to do this. Uh, it comes with a QR code you could scan uh, using your phone and you could download the software and you can set up your system to run your unit remotely. And this is a really cool feature. I won't cover it here, but if you're interested, know it's available. And if you would like to try out this unit, I have included a Amazon link below where you could order the unit and try it out for yourself. And if you like this video, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.